The terms global warming and climate change are used to describe effects in our environment. However, despite these two descriptions being related, they do actually portray two different aspects of our changing environment. So what do these terms actually mean? What's the difference between the two? Well, if we start with global warming, which is the driving force behind our climate change, global warming is pretty much exactly what it appears to be. Global warming is an increase in the average global temperature on the surface of our planet. You can take measurements of temperature from a large number of points around our globe, compare these measurements to early recorded temperatures. If on average the temperatures are increasing, you have global warming. If they decrease, you have global cooling. And the result is an increase in average temperatures. This doesn't mean that all of the world is experiencing the same increase in temperature. In fact, some areas of the globe are actually getting a little colder. To illustrate this, if half the measurements showed an increase in temperature of 5 degrees centigrade, and half the measurements showed a decrease in temperature of 1 degree centigrade, it means on average the global increase in temperature would be 2 degrees centigrade. Even though half of the measurements showed a decrease in temperature, it still means that the globe is becoming warmer on average. The change in global temperature also isn't a steady incremental change, the same tiny increase happening each and every year. Events like El Nino weather event and the volcanic activity can directly affect how warm or cold a particular year is. However, when you take a long-term trend, a pattern of global warming emerges. Now this trend is emphasised by the fact that the 10 warmest years on record have all occurred within the last 20 years, the last 4 years have been the warmest on record ever. So that's global warming. How does this actually then impact on the climate to bring about climate change? Well, the climate is the prevailing weather conditions in a particular area over a long period of time. It means that there isn't just one climate for the whole of the Earth. Instead, different parts of the Earth experience totally different climates. For example, the Sahara Desert is a hot, dry climate. South American rainforest is a warm, wet climate. Some places the climate dramatically changes during the year. For instance, Fairbanks, Alaska is very cold during the winter, and yet it's surprisingly warm during the summer. It gets virtually no precipitation in the spring, and yet gets quite a lot in the summer. Now, all of these locations have their own particular climate, and the humans and wildlife are adapted to suit that particular climate in that particular location. This doesn't mean that these locations always experience exactly the same weather. Does, for instance, occasionally rain in the Sahara Desert. That one weather event doesn't mean that the climate of the Sahara has changed. However, the pattern of weather changes so that rather than raining occasionally in the Sahara, it rained once a week, then the climate of the Sahara would have changed. With this change, also can change in the nature of plants and animals able to survive in the new environment created by those local climate conditions. So how can the climate in a particular area change? Well, climate for a particular area depends on a number of different factors like latitude, how far north or south a particular location is, presence of anything like mountain ranges, large bodies of water, etc. However, one of the key factors is the wind, both the prevailing direction of the wind and its strength. It's where we link back to global warming. A major driving factor in the creation of wind the difference in temperature between two locations on the surface of the Earth causes the air to move from one location to another. As global warming heats up the surface of the Earth, it's likely that some areas will warm more than others. This in turn means some dramatic changes in the strength and also in the direction that the prevailing winds blow in. This can then result in changes in precipitation, temperature, and other weather events in that locality. This means that the local climate will change. So for instance, an area had a prevailing wind which blew in from across an ocean, that changed to a prevailing wind now blew down from the north, cold land to the north. The local climate will change so that it was now drier and colder. So while global warming can result in climate changes, both global warming and climate change are different events.